Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the sweater that I'm wearing now, which is the Whitmore pattern from Amy Loudon. So this is a very interesting sort of lace work yoke. So the reason I decided to pick it up is just because I thought the lace work was really pretty and it's something that was on my list of techniques that I wanted to try this year. Originally, I was intending to do the Wishing Well pattern from Drops Design, which is a free pattern, uh, but the day that I went to go cast it on, I noticed that the free pattern didn't have the sort of like um, lacework design that goes in between each of the swags, and I really liked how that looked. So at the very last minute, I decided to go ahead and purchase the Whitmore pattern, which I think is probably the original one, uh, and I like, just because I liked I thought it had a more finished look to have the lace work in between each of the swags. But as I had said, knitting patterns tend not to be that expensive. So um, I don't feel too bad about paying for it. And I really like the way it turned out. I don't know if I'll make another one, but I really do like the finished sweater. So it's still snowing here in Colorado. And that was one of the reasons why I like was itching to make more spring sort of knitwear but it's very, very cold. So I ended up doing this sweater because it was nice, light, bright green color, uh, but it is quite warm still. So the two yarns that I've used in this sweater are Drops Alpaca and Drops Kids Silk, both of them in the colorway Pistachio Ice Cream. So Pistachio Ice Cream is a new color for, I think, 2022. Um, and I have used this Kids Silk previously in another sweater, but they held it with a speckled like hand dyed yarn. So you didn't really get to see this like nice bright green. And I really wanted something to, that was just this color. So I was very happy when they came out with the matching alpaca, both in that pistachio ice cream. Um, so the finished sweater is about a DK weight because this is fingering and this is a late weight, lace weight, um, but held together, it sort of comes out to DK. Uh, to get gauge, which is 22 stitches per four inches, I ended up going down two needle sizes to a US four. Um, and since this is a yarn combination that I really, really like, and there's lots of colors I wanna do with it, um, I'm happy to know that that is the uh, needle size that I need to hit gauge because even after blocking and everything, yep, I was bang on at 22 stitches per four inch. Now the sweater is fairly lightweight in that it doesn't use very much yarn. I think in the end, I ended up with about four and a half skeins of the alpaca used and three and a half skeins of the kids silk. Uh, roughly about 800 yards each, a little bit under 800 yards each. So it's a pretty lightweight sweater. I did pick a size down from what the pattern designer recommended for my measurements. I think using her, her measurements, I should have been a size small and I ended up making a size extra small just because in the finished product photos, I felt like it was very oversized and that wasn't the sort of look I wanted. I really wanted something that was a little bit more fitted, a little bit more tailored. So I went with the extra small and I'm really happy that I did. Um, the bust has about an inch of ease in it and then the body has a little bit more obviously just because the bust is my the largest portion of my body but I do think it looks quite nice and then the sleeves end up being quite fitted. I really like how it turned out in terms of sizing. I definitely prefer this little bit more fitted look compared to the oversized especially with the lace work because I want it to lay sort of flat against my skin. Um, the neckline on this doesn't have any short row shaping, which is something that I've been looking for a lot in the patterns that I want to make. It's just because I find short row shaping make the sweater a lot more comfortable. However, the neckline is quite open and large, uh, large cast on, large number of cast on stitches for the neckline. So it doesn't bother me too much because it's not really cutting up on my neck. I still feel like I have room to breathe along my neck and it has a nice open neckline, which again, I think lends itself nicely to the idea of this sort of like spring sweater that's, that's just emerging into the warmer weather. Um, keeps it a little bit more open up here. I did use a long tail cast on on the neckline edge just because I wanted something a little bit firmer. I really like the Italian cast on when I'm casting on at the top of ribbing at the neckline, but I find that's a little bit looser for me. So I did long tail just so that it wouldn't be so oversized that it would be like falling off of my shoulders. Um, 
what else? So for the edges of the cuffs and the bottom ribbing, I did do two rows of double stitch or double knit before doing an Italian bind off. Uh, I don't know that I like the double knit in this particular yarn combination as much. So I have some other sweaters that I'm planning in the same like alpaca and kid silk. I won't bother doing the double knitting in those. I'll just go straight into the Italian bind off. I just, for some reason in this particular yarn combination, I don't like how it looks as much, but I do really like that bind off technique if I'm using plumper yarn, if that makes sense. One thing that I thought was sort of interesting about this pattern is the, the chart work and the lace work continues on beyond when you separate for the body and sleeves. Most of the time, at least all of the ones that I've made previously, so color work yokes and stuff like that, you know, the design stops as soon as you, or slightly before you separate for the sleeves. But on this one, I hadn't finished the design yet. So when I put the sleeves on hold, I had to remember where I was in the chart because I needed to continue doing this sort of, sort of scallops below that separation point. So this is the first time I've ever had a sweater that needed to do that. And it was kind of fun and exciting because I, I don't say I loathe sleeves, but I get really bored on doing sleeves. So it's nice to have a little fun lace work still once I got to the sleeves. So I finished, you know, you finished all this body and then there was still some more lace work to do, which kept me kind of interested in doing the sleeves. So I think that is all that I have to say about this sweater. I really enjoyed making it and it's definitely been getting a lot of use in the last couple of weeks since I finished it because it's nice and easy to throw on. It feels um, very fitted and nice, nice lightweight and it makes me sort of like happier for the warmer days that are coming ahead. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see everyone next time. Take care.